What's up, everybody? Hey, man, what's up, man? You wanna... You wanna put on some muscle, man? Speed this shit up, man. I'm talking this, motherfucker, man. Shut up. You wanna put on some muscle, man? You do. It's good, man. You're at the right place, man. I'm gonna help you. But you gotta listen up, man. You gotta listen. Hey, what's the substitute for a whey protein supplement? Some goat milk. <laughs> no, just fuck it. Hey, hey man, man, a glass of skim milk will suit you, will do fine. Yeah, I mean, you could go out and get the whole milk, the 3%, the 2%, but it's got a lot of added fat in it, right? Yeah, a lot of extra calories you don't need. Yeah, go with a glass of skim milk. You know what I'm saying? Glass of skim milk, a cup of skim milk is around 10 grams of protein. Got some good uh, sugars in it because it's a long chain sugar. It doesn't break down as fast as your regular sugar. So it provides your energy source and you got a good quality protein source. Yeah, it's whey. It's got whey and casein in it. Yeah. So. Yeah, so you can go with skim milk. A glass of it's going to give you close to 20 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you buy the bill on a budget, I remember my post workout meal would be a glass of uh, skim milk with a peanut butter sandwich. You know, you're going to get some more um, protein from your bread and your peanut butter. I mean, it's not a complete protein, but your body will adapt and use proteins from other sources. Yeah, the milk they is a complete them. protein, the peanut butter is not. Yeah. But, uh,. A glass of skim milk is perfectly fine. Perfect. Yeah. You, like if you can, you can take a person who's taking a whey protein and, a, and milk. There ain't gonna be any difference. Yeah. You know, a lot of people so. go with the whey protein because they take the lactose out. Some people's lactose intolerant when it yeah. comes to milk. Yeah. When they drink a lot of milk, like me, I'm not lactose intolerant. But when I drink like lots of milk, man, my stomach fucking hurts. Yeah. I feel like I ate a diamond, and that shit just ripping out all my fucking insides. Give you gas. Be busting hot asshole all day. Like I saw this one uh, program where they said drink a gallon of milk. Good luck on that fucking diet. Yeah, that's a lot of. That's a lot of milk. So that's a lot if of you're not, If you don't have problems, yeah. If you don't have problems digesting milk, man. Milk would be fine, man. Milk is fine. It's got long chain sugars. It's got both whey and casein in it. It'll suit you just fine, man. Just because you don't got a whey protein, man, doesn't mean you can't build any muscle, man. You really don't need supplements. We just use supplements to help us. Yeah, you know it's a, a good substitute for a casein protein? Yeah, that's what this video is going to be. A substitute for whey and casein protein. What's a good substitute for casein protein before you go to bed? Eat a fucking meal high in protein like chicken and eggs and shit. Yeah. It takes that shit long. It takes it long for your body to break that down. That doesn't digest. I mean, casein proteins, I mean, I've never bought, never tried casein. Well, I, I ain't going to say never. I tried it, but, you know, you just buy it because, you know, it breaks down. Slower. Slower, so you get annuals. Nothing's better than a meal, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but. You, you can go eat, with a high-protein, low-carbohydrate meal. Yeah, man. Same thing. It's going to take your, it's going to take your body about four to six hours to break that fucking meal down while you're sleeping. Yeah, cottage cheese is a good, uh. You know, snack before you go to sleep. It's full of protein, whey and casein. It's going to digest slow. Yeah. Go with the low fat and no added sugar. That'll be just it, if not better than that fucking casein protein sitting in your yeah. cabinet. I mean, I've, I've not really put too much investment in casein protein. I guess I put more um, attention to my nutrition and diet before I go to bed, right? Yeah. Well, casein is that new fad now. Hey man, you need casein protein. At one time, casein protein was seen as an obsolete protein because it took your body to break it down so long. But hey, the supplement because hey man, that's just another product we can put on our shelf. Yeah, and hey money. man, it takes long to like. Just hey man, yes. you need this shit, man. You need to go shit. catabolic at night, man. During your workout, man, feed your muscles, keep your muscles from breaking down, right? You take this shit, right? It's a slow digesting protein, so it's gonna take forever. While you're working out, it's gonna keep your muscles from breaking down, man. Why are you yelling, man? I'm just saying, man. It's so, hey, hey, guys, but yeah, that's what you can substitute for a casein protein or whey protein. Time to budget. I prefer to get my whey protein after my workout because it's fast digest and gets my muscles quicker, you know. But uh, it's just advice, fellas. It's just advice, man. Yeah, man. You can go out there and buy whatever the fuck you want to buy. Hutch Twins, man.